Hello friends, welcome into my channel. It's Morgan with Dream9 Design. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make these really cute little flower earrings. Um, if you haven't yet done so already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know that you popped in, and I'm going to be going over the materials that we'll be needing to make these really easy, adorable little flower earrings. The materials that we will be using today, um, I am using some thread. This is some DMC 25. Um, there is 8.7 yards. So there's not very much in these. Um, if you plan to make a lot, I would get a spool. Um, but I am using two different colors, one for the center and then one for the outside. The hook size that we are using today is a 1.8 millimeter hook. You will need a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, a pair of scissors. You will also want some things for earrings if you're turning these into earrings along with the necessary tools to open and close those. Now I went ahead and I starched the back of this so you can kind of see the color difference there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, for that I just used some Elmer's school glue, put a little bit of water in there and just used a paintbrush on the back side to starch that up. So grab your materials. Oh, you also need scissors. <laughs> grab your materials and let's get started. So one thing I do want to note is you are going to want two of your main color if you are going off the thread. If you went ahead and bought yourself a spool, you don't need to worry about that. But if you are going with this, um, you do want to make sure that you have two of your outside colors. Um, to the little little hangs here. To begin, we want to start with a magic ring or a magic loop. Um, if you're not quite sure how to do that, go ahead and click the link above this video. And I do have a tutorial on how to do that and then come back. Um, once you have that, go ahead and add one more chain. And this is not going to count as a stitch, okay? So now we're gonna make 20 double crochets into our ring. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into our loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And remember, it's a little difficult. It takes a little bit of practicing to get used to working with such a small hook and a small thread. So there's your first double crochet. So now we wanna go ahead and make 19 more into the ring until we have a total of 20 plus that little chain that we made at the beginning. So go ahead and do that, and I will meet you back at this video. Now, once you have your 20 double crochets, go ahead and pull that ring tight. And it's okay if you can't close it quite all the way just yet. Um, we will get to that, as you see in this one. It's a little open, but we're going to close it up the best that we can, and then we will get that secured. But don't worry about that too much for now. What we wanna do is we wanna slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. So not this chain here, but the top right here. So the top of our first double crochet. So we're gonna slip stitch, chain. I like to chain two to make sure that we get a nice little um, tight knot there. So now we're actually gonna grab our scissors and we're going to snip this. Now I like to work over my ends throughout this project. I don't sew in too many ends. So now we're going to pull this tight and I pinch and pull it all the way down. Okay, so now if you want to go through and tighten up your magic ring or your magic loop, you can do that now. And then I do tie a knot. This is going to be one of the ends that I will sew in is the center. Now we're gonna start our round with a standing single crochet. So go ahead and put your slip knot onto your hook and then into the stitch that we just finished in right here. Trying to get a little closer, but my camera always is so funny. So this first stitch right here, which would be our last stitch of our previous row, that's where we're gonna make our standing single crochet. So a standing single crochet, we're just gonna pull the yarn through 
And now we're going to count this as our uh, first loop. So now we just yarn over and pull through both. Now we have our first single crochet done. Now what we want to do is go into the next stitch. So not this one right here, but our next stitch. And we will make another single crochet. And I like to, we're going to work over this end right here. Okay. Now I'm actually going to pull this end back around. We're going to work over that one as well. So actually this round we're going to have to sew those in. That's okay. But now what we are going to do, now we have two single crochets. What we're going to do is we are going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so from here we have our chain of five. We're going to skip the next stitch, so this following one, and then into the following we will make one single crochet. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to make a, another single crochet into the following. And then one more. So we're going to have three single crochets in between our chain five spaces. So now we've done our three, now we're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip this space here and then we're going to single crochet into the following. So we're going to skip this one, make a single crochet, make a single crochet into the next, and there's your third single crochet. So we're going to continue to do this around. Okay, you're going to chain five after you do your three single crochets, and then we'll end up with five of these. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five of your chain five spaces. So go ahead and work that for the remaining of the row, and then I'll move on to the next round with you, which will be our final row. So these are really quick, really easy three row um, little flower earrings. Now here we're at our last chain five. We have one, two, three, four, and here's our fifth one. Now we skip this space and then we're gonna single crochet right here. Okay. And so that's the end of row two. Now moving on to round three, we want to single crochet into the first, our standing crochet right here. So that is our first of round two. Now, if you would like to place a stitch marker right there, just to let you know where we started at, I'm put that right there. Once you have your stitch marker in, we are going to skip the next single crochet, and then we're going to go directly into our chain five space. And in our chain five space, we are going to make 12 double crochets all into this space right here. So there's one, here's two. So go ahead and make your 12. Okay, so we have our first little petal done. Now we're going to see these three single crochets that we have here, okay? Now we're going to skip the first one, we're going to skip the last one. We're only working into the middle which we're going to go in with a single crochet, okay? And now we're gonna repeat this around. We're gonna put 12 double crochets into each one of these here, like so 12 in here. And then when we get to our three single crochets, we're only gonna do one single crochet right in the center. And then your 12 single, 12 single. So continue that all the way around. All right, so here I'm back at my stitch marker, and that was our middle single crochet. So we just want to go into that um, single crochet right there, and we are going to place a slip stitch just like that. And now we want to chain up two, and I chain up two just because it does make a nice little knot. So then grab your scissors 
snip that off and pull up and then we want to pull this down nice and tight just like that okay so now what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to sew in all of your ends and then you want to um, do your glue if you're going to do that. I highly recommend it. It does change the color a little bit. So that's why I only do it on the back side. Um, but just sew in your ends and then put your glue on. Once it's dry, I do let them sit overnight. Um, you want to go ahead and grab your earring materials. And then I just take, you can choose to use a jump ring. If you use a jump ring, you are going to want to use two. I'll show you an example over here of why, um, but I just went ahead and I just put it directly onto the earring. If you do do the jump rings, you'll want to do two or else it's going to sit funny and it won't lay right. Um, but if I were to put this on a little card, that is what they look like when they're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys all next time for another crochet tutorial here on Dreamline Designs Yarn Corner of YouTube. Bye yarn friends.